I know that yesterday's recipe had a lot of ingredients, so I'm going to go a little easy on you today so that you can all get out and enjoy the sunshine while the snow is melting. Today I've decided to make my French onion dip that I use with Corner Point beer. Five simple ingredients, it's super easy, delicious, and it's easy to take anywhere. If you need something quick to bring to a party, something quick to bring to the brewery while you're enjoying something on tap, this is the recipe for you. So, let's begin. So on a medium, medium low heat, warm up your pan and add about, I don't know, say like a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of olive oil. And just a teaspoon of butter to add just a little bit of the richness and decadence that you want in a fattening dip. <laughs> so while that's melting down, I went ahead and I chopped up one large Vidalia onion. If you don't have a sweet Vidalia onion, go ahead and use a regular yellow onion, white onion, and when you put it in the pan, just add a little bit of sugar, and that's gonna help with the caramelization. But the Vidalia has enough sugar in it, so you get a really nice browning. So give me just a second to get this all melted down before we add the onion. Now this process, you shouldn't rush. In order to get a good caramelization on the onions, you should really just let them go low and slow. You know, while you're waiting for the onions, you can always crack a beer, right? Kill some time. It's really important that you keep all of the onions in a thin layer. That way they get nice and browned, caramelized, they're not crowding one another. So I would just stir them periodically. Now the other secret ingredient to this is beer. Which beer should we choose? The Corbine has several selections of beer to choose from. We have Old Town, Bloodshot, Ridland Road, Tularosa Chuck, and Down the Hatch. Now yesterday I consumed the Down the Hatch. Tularosa Chuck is pretty tasty, but I think I'm gonna go with a good old Ridland Road. Can't go wrong with Ridland Road, and you've all been there once or twice for a party or two, I'm pretty sure. Ridland, Ridland Road is a nice brown ale, and it will marry perfectly with the caramelized onions and the other two ingredients that we're gonna add to the dish. So let's get back to our onions. Now the power invested in magic of TV and filming on an iPhone, I have the caramelized onions. To the caramelized onions, I'm gonna go ahead and add about I don't know, I usually do about a quarter of a cup of the brown, but you know, if you want a little more intense beer flavor, you can go ahead and add a little bit more. But I like to cook this down, so give me just a moment. So while this is cooking down, we can add our other two ingredients. I'm going to do a teaspoon of garlic powder and I'm using a half a teaspoon because that's what fits in here, so I'm gonna do two of these. And a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce. And this right here is gonna add a nice depth of flavor, um, which will complement the beer as well. So what you wanna do is turn up the heat just a little bit, so put it, it's like a good medium high, and let the beer cook down for just a few minutes leaving just a little bit of liquid in there to mix in with our other two ingredients. So in this bowl, I have a good cup, maybe a cup and a half of sour cream. I didn't really measure it, I just kind of threw it in there. And about a half a cup of mayonnaise. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and mix those two together. If you look, you can see that the beer is already starting to reduce, and with that reduction, it's really gonna bring a great depth of flavor um, to the dip. So you don't wanna get it too dry because you want a little bit of liquid to make a really flavorful dip. So that looks good. Well, I mean, the beer is open. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, mix this into our sour cream and our mayonnaise mixture. And there you have it. How fast was that? So usually I let this set up in the refrigerator for about, I don't know, an hour or two. The longer it sets, the more flavorful it becomes. 
Um, you obviously could add a little bit more mayonnaise or sour cream to it depending on how you thick you want it, um, how intense you want that onion flavor. So with that, that's it for today. I told you I was going to go easy on you all, so give you some time to get outside, enjoy the sunshine. So grab your sunglasses, 